have as much fun with it as we have while we're rehearsing. And uh, a little bit about the play. It's a very modern play, it was re uh, recently written. And uh, it's a little bit absurd. You cannot understand whether it's completely a comedy or a tragedy. And uh, you may be wondering what's going on with the characters. Are they really what they're saying they are? But I hope at the end everything will be more understandable. And uh, I hope you enjoy it. Thank you. Why don't you come up to me when I'm washing the dishes and take me from behind? 
about in the children's books. So what do you want? To take the, the book off of sex, to call things by the proper names, to fill it out with sin. Penis, orgasm, vagina. <laughs> yes, I will repeat the word vagina 20 times, 200 times, until you stop reacting to it, until people who hear it stop giggling or being offended by the word vagina. <laughs> Because sex is the cause of all illnesses. 
Now, do you understand why you feel bad? What makes you think that I feel bad? Well, you don't want to have sex. That's the type of arrangement. Do you think I'm crazy? Well, not exactly. Madness is normal, because we all live in a mad world. The abnormal one is the one who's normal. But don't worry, I'll cure you. How? I have special remedy. Sex three times a day instead of meals. I agree. Good. Excellent, even. Then let's start right now. Tell me, for this cure, you need to be very healthy. Are you healthy? Yes. Good. Then there's no need for me to cure you, so let's just have sex. <laughs> we can start right now. Do you know what it is? <laughs> I forgot it. Well, uh, do you have a husband? <laughs> husband and sex are two very different things. I mean, I'm not sure what I have him. Dear, I see what's wrong with you. You need to start life all over again. And I can help you. Nobody in the entire world knows what sex is but me. I've given it the best years of my life. I've studied it in libraries, at archives, and conferences and seminars. And nowhere else? Well, if you mean nitty-gritty experience, that might be something for an amateur. But I am a top-notch professional. You can't even imagine what a rich world will be opened up for you when I start sharing my knowledge. <coughs> Ancient sex. Primitive sex. Greek and Roman sex. Medieval sex. Renaissance sex. Baroque and classical sex. Romantic sex. Modern sex, French sex, Oriental sex. Sex of all countries, times and people. I will start going about this right now. Right now? Right now? Right now? I clearly told you I'm not in the mood for sex right now. Well, we have, we'll have sex in the academic sense. Of course, of 480 hours for a start. <laughs> <laughs> we'll study the theoretical principles, the social aspects, the practical applications. We'll look at the, the pictures and the films, the entire history, actually. <coughs> Let's do some, some hands and legs exercises together. There's also voice training. Shouting, sighing, groaning, <laughs> but also resisting, surrendering, and pretending. I already know how to pretend. I will teach how to pretend so well that you'll believe it yourself. And when I learn all this, then what? Oh, then everything will still be the same. But don't worry, you will never learn everything. Sex is a boundless science. All your life is not enough to explore it completely. It's a magic elixir, which gives us a sense of youth and happiness. That's why we love it so much. <laughs> right now I detest it. Oh no, it's not sex that you feel an aversion to. But your partner, change partners, three times a day. We'll start right now. You are a beautiful woman, and you deserve to be happy. My services are expensive, but I'm willing to teach you for free. I always thought that a circumstance like this, the teacher made, not the student. Well, I'll make an exception. <laughs> Let's get started. One, two, three, go. <laughs> oh dear, you don't even know how to start? I'll show you. One, two, three, go. One, two, three, go. Stop that. I think it's better if you teach me. Did you watch? I don't live differently. Not like I live now. Better. More sensibly. Well, <laughs> to live differently, you need to live with another partner. If you want to change your life, you can't do it now. So left to your own devices, you will always live the same way. But life with another partner will force you to live differently. Better or worse? Oh, worse. For sure. <laughs> but <coughs> and that's what you want, isn't it? I don't know what I want anymore. I only know what I don't want. To live here. To live like this. This miserable, boring life. Alone. I want to run away! Doesn't it seem to you that everybody has gone mad? It doesn't just seem to me like that. That's the way it really is. And that's why we have nowhere to run away to. The years will pass like peas in a pod. Each one uglier than the one before. The end will come. No, that's not so. What did I live for? Did I ever truly live? Well, <laughs> I know that there
there's no meaning to life, except for sex. <laughs> sex is the affirmation, continuation, and celebration of life. If you are successful in sex, <laughs> everything will go right. I don't have so much problems anymore. Well, uh, sex is the cause of all problems. <laughs> if you have a happy sex life, then the rest of your life will be great. But <laughs> bad sex life, <laughs> then everything will go wrong. Trust me, um, is your sex life good? No. In the rest of your life? No. <laughs> exactly. That's why I want to run away, away from this life. You too? What would you run away with? Alone? But it would be better with somebody. Yes, together is certainly better. So, why don't we run away together? I've been asking myself the same question. What is your answer? <laughs> yes, let's do it. That's what I wanted to do when I first got here. You offered to have sex when you first got here. Well, sex is just an escape from life. I thought it was life itself. Okay, let's not argue. We don't have much time. <laughs> so you take me with you? Yes, I'll steal you. I'll abduct you. I'll carry you away in my arms. Where to? Nowhere! That's the problem. We must run away all the same. Where to? Well, that's not important. The main thing is not to look back, not to stop, not to think. Give me your hand. Right now? Yes. Otherwise someone will come. It will be too late. Then wait here. I'll grab a few things to take with me. So it's you who called me. He called you? What for? So sex, I believe. Well, no, it wasn't me. But I'm ready. So who called me? Well, if someone wanted to have sex, let's just presume it was me. He called a very rich and cold. Let's start immediately. That's just what I was going to suggest. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, uh, who are you? Oh, I work with the husband. Well, why don't you accept the husband? With whose husband? With yours, for a change? I don't have it. But you said you worked with him. Oh, I worked with him, but he's not my husband. Oh. Oh, that changes everything. <laughs> if he is not your husband, then it's simply your duty to have unlimited sex with him. Especially if you work with him. It's convenient and it saves time. Unfortunately, he's terribly busy. Busy? At work? With what? Say the word. Oh, that's different. <laughs> I make out his daily schedule for him and give a record of his work. Beginning of sex, the end of it, with whom, where, and whose presentation. <coughs> oh God, it's a lot of work. Well, if you're so busy, then why don't you have sex with other men? That's just what I propose to you. Well, my pleasure. I'm gonna make sure of that. Oh, um, <laughs> you've come to the right place. I'm the right person for you. Prove it. My reputation does not require me to prove anything. My name speaks for itself. And who are you? I am a world-renowned professor of psychiatry, psychology, and sociology. I get rid of complexes and inspire self-confidence. I am a sex consultant. I help to cure all illnesses, everything. I theorize, I lecture, I teach. How do I become such a consultant, too? Well, I'll teach you, too. Do you know who said the famous words, I have taken all knowledge? Could be my problems. Exactly. It's I who said it. Oh my god, I didn't know that. There's a lot of things you don't know yet. So come on, teach me, be my teacher. Let's start right now. Oh, well, <laughs> okay. Um, sit down, facing me, and focus. And, yes. <laughs> but with culture? Oh, right, no. It's not necessary to take them off. It's not necessary? No, just sit down, facing me, and concentrate. <laughs> Tell me. What? Does this pen remind you of? Set? <laughs> Very interesting. <laughs> um, what does this couch remind you of? Sex? Sex again? Yeah, it can be me of sex. But what does a couch have to do with sex? <coughs> oh, if only you knew, Professor, how many of my fancies have involved a chair. 
Oh, unfortunately, they were only fan please, not name based. Wow. You are incredible. Um, I'm giving you the highest score, 100 points. You have a rich imagination. Oh no, I have not my imagination. The training skills, wanting to give up themselves up to the win. The train, yes. The clouds merging with each other. The red sunshine piercing the moist depth of the sea. The tunnel, confidently going to the train. Wow, you are amazing. I need to learn from you, not you from me. <laughs> Don't trust her. <laughs> Listen to me. She is crazy. You, you aren't. I live in a world of symbols. A spoon and a blade. A cylinder and a piston. A key and a lock. An arm and a sleeve. A seal and a sword. A hit and a sheet. A ring and a finger. <laughs> All of these are symbols of the eternal unification of men and women. Each one of them is useless or meaningless. Without the other. Don't stop talking, getting so excited. Tell me, what do you know about sex? Or, well, better yet, what don't you know yet about sex? Um, to be honest, I don't know anything about sex yet. I haven't had it, but that's why it's so interesting to me. Well, we'll start having it. And lots of it. From morning till evening, and from evening till morning. And you will learn everything. We can start right now. Um, right now? Well, I'm afraid we can do it right now. <laughs> <laughs> we can do Why it. Why not? Uh, we can do it here. Oh, yes. But we can try. Can you keep a secret? Yes, but you'd better not tell me anyway. Oh, no, I'll tell you. I want to escape. You too? Where would you want to go? To a better place where... I'll just say you two. Do you want to escape too? Yes. Of so let's run away together. Here. I don't run anymore. I shuffle. <laughs> <laughs>
What do you suggest? Well, to be honest, I don't have much experience. You've never had an affair with a man? Never! But men have had an affair with me. <laughs> Heroic 
young man and the wee fragile woman. Don't you see? None of this is accidental. It all fits together, doesn't it? Are you okay? <laughs> what do you mean? You're acting as if you're from the century before last. You oversimplify my life! And you make it too complicated. Sex is a useful, very great thing. And people like you talk about it round about and she waits and it just runs it. So why not put a smile on your face? Reach out to your kids and just say, let's have sex instead of good morning or good evening, because is it really a good morning if you're not having sex? <laughs> Fish, 
We open our mouth to scream, but nothing comes out. Nobody hears. We, we, we keep running just to stay in place, round and around in the same wheel, in the same cage. T -t Tomorrow, just like today. Today, just like yesterday. T -t the day after yesterday, just like always. We struggle to make our way up, 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 up the down escalator. All the time we have no time. We, we just want to, we, we want to run away, run as fast as we can. But we just don't have the strength to do it. We, we start running, we, we get our breath, we, we stop, look back and think. Then we get scared and start running again. There's no time, let's run away together. You think too much. You shouldn't think. There is no tomorrow, there's only today. Don't think, okay? I shouldn't think. I think we should run away, that's all. Where to? The most important thing is not where to, honey, but where from. Away from the place we hate, away from here. Where everything is forbidden, where nothing is possible. When everything has to be according to my schedule. We run away to a place where people are actually happy and they think, and then and they do whatever they want to do, whenever they want to do it. Is there really such a place? Yes, it is this. However, no one is afraid. Where people go to bed with whomever they want to, whenever they want to. Where there's plenty of sun, no sex, and plenty of sun. When people are actually happy. Where do we live without money? Wherever we want. We can sleep on a bench, in the bushes, in the park, on a boat. Yes, in a boat. We're gonna leave and it's gonna drift and rock from side to side and it's gonna take us someplace new. And we're gonna go and meet bands in every pier. And we're gonna throw flowers and we're gonna hear the music. And Nobody will ever find us. Nobody will ever find us? Yeah. Let's do it. When? Right now. Okay, just wait for me here. I'm going to go take a couple of stuff and then I'm going to come back to you. And we're going to start a beautiful life together. Let's have sex. Thanks, my pleasure. <laughs> well, what? I'm waiting to see what will follow your thanks. I thought it was a greeting. No, it was a business offering. So, I'm willing. So let's get started. I don't see any women around here. Well, we can manage perfectly well without women. <laughs> without women! Yes, there's you and there's me. So there's a couple. What else do we need? Beg your pardon, but who are you? Hi, <laughs> I'm a world famous professor of psychiatry, psychology, and sociology. I am a sexologist and a sex pathologist. I get rid of complexes, I inspire self confidence, I cure fragility and impotence. I teach, I give advice, I lecture. I'm not sure what you're offering concretely. To have sex, what could be more concrete? <laughs> professor, with all due respect to your wisdom and knowledge to your old age and infinite understanding. <coughs> you are no substitute to a one for me. Tell me, are you an intelligent person? I hope so. Very well, then tell me, what's the most important thing in a partner for you? The soul, certainly. Well, what difference does it make then? What body the soul inherits? <coughs> male or female? For me, a very big difference. Imagine a kindred soul, so fine. Sublime, gifted, intellectual, sympathetic. I have been searching for such a soul for a very long time. But this soul should be habit, a nice body, not too skinny and not too plump. And it is also important for me that this soul should have a normal woman's breasts, slender legs, and blue eyes. So in other words, you're against homosexual love. Absolutely! <laughs> Can I understand lesbians? Who would be attracted to a soft, Gentle, supple, appetizing and beautiful body. But any attraction to a man is unnatural! You do realize that some women are attracted to men, right? A perversion! 
Well, I'll help you find a woman. In fact, I've just been talking to two ladies. So have I. I have every reason to believe that they will not object. They are willing. Which do you prefer? A plum blonde or a slim brunette? Ooh, that's a hard choice. What did you say? A slim blonde or a plum brunette? No, the other way around. A, a plum blonde or a slim brunette? I would prefer a compromise. A slender redhead. <laughs> and I thought, you were going to say, I thought you were going to say both. That's a good idea. Where are the women? I don't know, actually. <laughs> so, let's get back to the subject. What I'm offering is not a course carnal act, but an educational process. In other words, I, I teach. I give advice, I lecture. What is your lecture about? I mean, you even asked that. That is a kind of transaction. And as in any transaction, one needs to be skillful, intellectual, and most of all, persuasive. Tell me, are you persuasive? I don't know what to say. Don't hesitate to admit your weakness. Such shyness is a prejudice. <laughs> and fortunately, our society <coughs> has not yet freed itself of its primitive values. Why is it shameful to be a fool, an alcoholic, or a cheat? But it is to be impotent. If you don't have a leg or an eye, oh, it's no problem. If you're skinny or fat, it's not shameful. But woe to you if you can't do this one thing. You must hide it from everyone. But <laughs> if you think about it, who cares? Really, except your girlfriend. <laughs> As for me, I'm okay. But I want to be successful. I earn a lot of money. I work hard. I'm <coughs> very busy. I think a lot. There's no time left for sex. And to tell the truth, no strength either. You're busy, but not with the right things. Only sex makes us all equal. Only sex frees us from feeling inferior to the arrogant highbrow elite. If you are sure of yourself as a man, you'll be sure of everything else. You think so? I don't think so, I know so. Success requires an enormous effort. You need to study for a long time, work hard, struggle, strive, push others aside, grit your teeth, pay your dues, and kiss ass. The only self-reformation one can get is from sex. It can make you feel strong, important, and even superior. So you can enjoy that. If you're successful at sex, you can't be a loser. And vice versa, if you're a failure at sex, nothing goes right. Just There's some truth to what you're saying. Some truth? It's the naked truth. <laughs> I'll teach you for 20 years, and then you'll see that. <laughs> My heart. Do you hear your bells? No. Usually a sister comes and she, she brings them. Should I call her? No, 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 don't do that. I'll feel better soon. Or not. My life is over. <laughs> What's there for me to remember? All my life, I, I dreamed of another life. When I was in kindergarten, I dreamed of going to school as soon as possible. When I was in school, I dreamed of finishing it as soon as possible. <laughs> when I was in university, I dreamed of being on my own. And when I got a job, I dreamed of retirement. When I got married, I all I wanted was a divorce. <laughs> Whenever I had sex, I dreamt of different sex with another woman. All my life I've dreamt of another life. And what now? Start all over again living the same life? So you do dream of a different life and different sex? Not of different sex anymore. Once I had it every day, and every other day, every week, once a month, over the years, I've gotten more skill and experience, but for some reason, less desire. What now? Well, my, my work is hard, I get very tired, I get a lot of calls. So do I. I'm too old for this work. I try to remember now, and I can't. When was it? When was what? When was the last time I had sex? Did you ever have it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Lots of it. <laughs> at conferences, in libraries, in archives and museums. But even that's a long, long time ago. Don't give up. Yes, my friend. 
Everything in the world has changed for me now. There are juicy steaks, but no tea. There are beautiful women, but no money. There's a rich past, but no future. And soon I too will, will not be. Oh, course, no, 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 no. Please. People used to say that a guardian angel watches over us all our lives. And at the appointed hour, she leaves and an angel of death just takes her place. What do you think he looks like? I don't know. An old woman dressed in black, on the side. Or a Greek skeleton. What do you think? I don't know. Sometimes I put that so very close, but I, I just can't see it. Maybe it comes in the, the guise of an ordinary soldier with a tummy gun. A doctor with a scalpel. A sister with a syringe. Yes, a sister with a syringe. Why do I have the feeling that she's always close by? The worst thing is that she can always knock at the door at any moment. Wave the sight, press the trigger, stick in the needle.
might be all for yourself. So Parker! The woman! Let's talk about the woman for a time. The other man! Stop shit up, man! Let's have sex! Okay! <laughs> Who is there to do it with? Don't you know? No. Well, then why do you say let's have sex? I thought you would know. If I knew, I wouldn't be sitting here alone. Did you offer yourself to anybody? To everybody! <laughs> Why do you love sex so much? What is there not to love about? 
that said. Yes, is the answer loneliness. It means two people, well at least two. <laughs> <laughs> it is, it holds our deepest meaning. Because we're people, we have to talk. It's a unique opportunity to tell someone about yourself. If you listen to, but the most important thing is to talk. How it's going between you and him, you and others, him and others, others and others. He and I don't talk before doing it. And afterwards? Afterwards? What is there to talk about afterwards? <coughs> girls, girls, girls. There's no need to talk afterwards, before or instead. So let's just have sex. Great. Sit down, take out your notebooks, and we can start. I'm going to do it seated down, but what are the notebooks for? To take notes. Well, I'm sure I'm going to remember everything without any notes. As for me, I have no desire for group lessons. Besides, I'm jealous. Dear, how can you be jealous? It is so hard to date. Even a brainless man isn't jealous. Actually, how can a woman of the 21st century be jealous? the hand raised for chicks alone. But with women, we do not do this by ourselves, we do that with a husband. So it's very natural to be jealous. My dear, you've shown significant erudition and intelligence for such a young, inexperienced girl. And besides, you promised to run away with me. <gasps> and with me! <laughs> Yes, that's quite something. Um, every time I offer to have sex, it seems like everybody wants to run away. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's fine. Uh, let's get started. Let's go. Let's go. Who? Both of you. Let's run. Okay. <laughs> Nothing. He 
found out a lot of new things I think. <laughs> so do any of you have anything else intelligent to talk about? Like literature, theater, or music? To be honest, literature doesn't interest me that much. I don't like music. No, nothing about theater. <laughs> so I must conclude that in our modern day society, where everyone is equal in their lack of culture, the only thing that interests absolutely everybody, that everybody seems to enjoy is sex. Well, if we can't talk about intelligent things, let each of us talk about what's interesting to them. <coughs> For example, I wonder what else can be interesting other than sex. Or, if sex can even be an interesting thing. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, nothing interests me anymore, not even sex. Oh, I'm not interested in sex either anymore, but sex is interested in me. <laughs> <laughs> we have slipped into sex again. Can't we talk about anything else? About something intelligent? <laughs> Only about intelligent things. <laughs> May we speak about love? Let's talk about love. Certainly about love, yes. Why can we speak of love and not sex? Aren't they both the same thing? Absolutely not. For me, love is just a nation worth of sex. Maybe use the word sex or something like that and use the, uh, the word love instead. No, uh, it was something different. But I don't remember what I studied in school. It's something that has happened in the days of that. So, what's the difference between them? I'll explain. What's important in love is the partner. Well, what's important in sex is the process. What if the partner is good, but the process is bad? <laughs> Besides, it's thought that women prefer love, while men prefer sex. <laughs> I'm a young and experienced girl. And I don't know what men prefer, but I do know what women want. Professor, what's better, love or sex? Oh, sex, without a doubt. <laughs> Love involves too many negative emotions. Depression, excitement, jealousy. Well, sex only brings pure pleasure. Why? Well, love only leads to stressful memories. While well, sex leaves a strong appetite. <laughs> and besides, love takes up too much time. All these walks, talks, presents, bouquets. Who can afford it nowadays? Who gets even a free half hour? Sex takes only a couple of minutes. Sex is somehow more modern. What a pleasant conversation we're having. And now to know about sex, the problem is that we're only talking again. I'm wasting time. But what else can we do? I don't know. I only know that we have to do something. Are any of you pleased with your wives? I'm asking all of you. Are any of you pleased with your life? No. 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 Then why are we sitting here chattering and pretending to be happy? Go pretend. I don't. But what can we do? What I proposed a long time ago. Let's run away. We can't escape from ourselves. So what can we do? We have to act. We have to break the break set on fire. I'd love to do something like we that. We are what? Yes. We must unite. We must come together, all of us. We must rise up. Yes, unite. It's not so easy. We're all so different. But we must unite all the same. We will develop a common platform. Oh, so leave that platform for later. There's only one thing to come together quick and dead. Sex. You can sit in the same office for thousands of years. You can go to the same clubs, drink with the same people. But this will not make you as close as a single night spent together. So let's come together, right? <laughs> Sex is the only language that everyone understands and enjoys. That's why it brings peace. Long live sex!
Didn't 
Atenzio. And you, young man, I advise you to get married. <coughs> Your former wife. No, the other one here, the other one. Kicked you out of the house so you wouldn't bother her from lower. <laughs> Since then, I've been afraid of all women. I'm afraid that they might take away your freedom. That they will be unfaithful and cheat on you. That they will take all your time and spend all your money. That they will want you to marry them. That they will leave you. Stop being afraid of life. Oh Stop thinking. Thinking is dangerous. Learn to live without thinking. Learn to live today. Tomorrow is a bad word. Tomorrow, we may lose ourselves. We may get ruined. Lose our job. Get sick.
still have to work. I have to live. And what for? What for? To listen to your complaints and to your petty problems. To live with your hatred. Do you know that I'm already taking the same pills? Taking the same shots and giving you. Have pity on you. You're blown and miserable. You talk about sex, but it's actually your thirst and your longing for love and warmth. Thank you. I need some place quiet, peaceful, not to think, not to plan, not to schedule anything in advance, not to feel.